so excited, like... Hello everyone, Editing Amanda here. So, I found all of these files on my hard drive. They were actually all edited already. I thought I had edited and uploaded this video. Turns out I edited it, but I did not upload it. So, um, it was filmed in November, so deepest apologies to everybody involved that this took this long. Hello everyone, welcome back. I have something else to share with you today that is really awesome. I was contacted by St. Joseph's Communications to ask if I would like to receive um, a Divine Mercy image to share with all of you. And I can't wait to open it up and look at it. It looks beautiful through the plastic. So I'm gonna open this up and I've got another surprise when we get towards the end of the video. So this is it. so pretty. I'm gonna try not to like break it when I open it. I'm gonna open it from the back then because otherwise I'll put a hole through Jesus. Probably would have been helpful if I had grabbed a scissors. But you know, there we go. Fingernails. Fingernails. Okay. Okay. I'll peel off the corners. So this is a 6 by 11 canvas framed print of Divine Mercy. This is the Villeneuve, I believe. If I'm pronouncing it right. Yeah. Villeneuve. Oh gosh. This is like really strong plastic. <laughs> okay. Mm. So on the back, it tells you the details of the image so you know where to find it on their website. I'll link it down below. Um, there's also a link to the Amazon, where it is on Amazon, because I was told that was fine too. This is it. So this one was sent to me because it asked me to open it up and show all of you, and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's actually on canvas, like a painting print, and it's so pretty. It's absolutely gorgeous. Jesus, I trust in you. It's got the hanger on the back as well as a stand so it can just sit on a desk or tabletop. It's absolutely beautiful though. I'm so excited, like, I never, I don't have a canvas print of this. It's so pretty. I'm like afraid to touch it, but like, it's so pretty. I love this painting. This is the, um, Bill knew, I believe. So it was the one that was painted at St. Faustina's instruction. Yeah. It's so beautiful. I'm so excited, if you can't tell. This is absolutely gorgeous. And then the other surprise that I told you about is that when they sent this one, I got an email asking if I would like another one, another image as well. So the email for this one had mentioned that they might have a digital or they had digital rights so I was thinking they were going to email me a digital copy of this image but instead the box had the Divine Mercy image and the image of Our Lady of Guadalupe um, this is beautiful I, I don't even know how to explain it. it's the same canvas print it's the 11 by 6 just like the Divine Mercy one framed same type of frame, it's got the hanger and the thing for the back, St. Joseph's Communications. And this is just gorgeous. Oh my goodness, I love the image of Our Lady of Guadalupe, and especially now that I'm working in a parish that is mostly Hispanic, um, Our Lady of Guadalupe is very important to the Mexican Americans that live here, and so this is just beautiful. I'm trying to see if I can, it's like on canvas again, like it's a beautiful painting. It's the image of Our Lady, and oh my goodness, this is so appropriate for coming up in December because her feast day is coming up. Um, yeah, about a month to go. So excited. It's actually exactly a month from the day I'm filming this, so that tells you what day it is today. <laughs> so yeah, oh my goodness, it's so pretty. So the, they have the same frame, and this is just, and it's just very beautiful. We've got Our Lady of Guadalupe. And we have Divine Mercy. 
So like I said, I'm gonna leave links to these down below and thank you so much St. Joseph's Communications. I am so excited for both of these. I want to find a great spot to put them in my apartment. I'm thinking about maybe taking one of them, one or both of them to work to hang in my office because that would be really awesome. So I have to decide where I'm gonna put them. I am loving them. Do you guys have any images of Divine Mercy or Our Lady in your home? Just curious on if it's a common thing to have these images in our home. I know I didn't have a Divine Mercy until very recently in my home. Uh, and it's just a 8x10 print and I also have an 8x10 print of Our Lady of Fatima. So uh, this is the first Our Lady of Guadalupe that I've ever had. So I'm really excited. Thank you so much! <laughs> Please make sure you like and subscribe. God bless!